Hi, I'm Richard Migliori. I'm here in the paddock at Saratoga with my fans of the day, Gavin and Graham, and they've come from a long distance to join us as our fans of the day, and I'll let these guys tell you where their travels are taking you. Uh, well, I'll start. We uh, landed in Boston on the 2nd of August, and we've been in New Hampshire and then Vermont. We're delighted to be here. We come from York in England, although Gavin now lives in London, and uh, we have a wonderful racetrack in York, which I'd love to tell everybody to come to. <laughs> And uh, then we're going on to do the tourist things like Niagara Falls and uh, Philadelphia. So we're having a fantastic time. This is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> we went back in time, we went on the uh, Conway Scenic Railway, which is very good because uh, I'm a terrific rail buff. Um, I like When I go to York, I always go around the Railway Museum there. Uh, we, we went to see what was it, the uh, baseball. We went to see the baseball, we saw the Red Sox because over the years yeah. I've acquired a appetite for baseball. I just love the game. Too much ice cream, too many steaks, the usual things that you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> That's my line since I quit riding. <laughs> well, I've come to find out that Gavin and Graham are racing aficionados and they go to racing all over Europe. I want to get who they like in today's fourth race in Saratoga. Um, my selection is number two, Vexor. Uh, it's run once before and got quite well placed. And um, I just have a sneaking fancy. It's a good price and I think we're, we might collect. I'm going to put my money on the Seeker. I like the name. I like the, the trainer. Um, the odds look pretty good. Well, let's hope they win. But regardless, we're going to get them in a winner's circle picture so they have something to bring home to show everybody they got in the winner's circle in Saratoga. Not an easy thing to do. Well, Graham likes the two-horse Vexer, so I went and got the horse's trainer, John Kimmel, to come say hi to these guys and see if they're on the right track. But, uh, you know, the horse is training well. He's had a nice little break off his maiden race, and we're looking for some improvement today, so maybe the fans of the day will bring me some good luck, and we'll see him in the winner's circle. Now, I, I know you guys are used to negotiating your price with the, the bookmaker. That's right. Here, it's paramutual. You can't negotiate your price. Are you happy with the price you're getting on the board? Um, well, we'll wait and see. You're always happy if you win. Uh, I don't know if people know if you're in England and you put $5 on and you're the bookie, I go $5 and you say, right, I'll give you this bet at 5 to 1. So I get my $5 back plus $25 if that horse wins. If the horse goes out in price to 10 to 1, that's my hard luck. If it goes in at 2 to 1, that's my very good luck. So it's not a bad deal. See, it's different everywhere you go, but you got to win to get paid. That's right. Oh, I told you before, you know, I think the horse is going to run well. There are a couple first-time starters in here. We have no uh, PPs on, but, uh, you know, my horse is doing well. I, I, I expect some improvement off the first race. Well, you know, miracles happen every once in a while. Well, I'm here with my fans of the day. They got to meet the winning trainer in the paddock before the race, the winning jockey after the race, and they got in the winner's circle picture with the two horse Vexer. What did you guys think of this experience? Well, how can, how can you not be absolutely delighted? In England, we would say I'm chuffed. I love the insider knowledge. It's a wonderful day. We'll come back if we're invited. From York to Saratoga, it's all good if you wind up in the winner's circle.